Okay, what up y'all, um, what's up, I'm coming to y'all with this foundation tutorial, so let me get into it, because I don't want my, um, battery to die down, so, the battery, the freaking recording time. So, the first thing I start with is, I read my eyebrows, I just use my, um, Maybelline Cover Stick, and Deeper Beige, and I just run that over my face, because I have a lot of, oh, I have a lot of marks, but before you do this, make sure you moisturize, I moisturize with Aveeno. This one. But let me get into this real quick. So I just do like this. People have their own versions of everything, so y'all might do it different. This is just how I do mine. And then I just um put this on my finger and blend it out. And the reason I do this is because I just wanna um get some of uh, I got a lot of marks. Like I have I used to have a lot like acne. So I use this as a Get rid of them a little bit. Okay, so it doesn't have to be neat because I'm just gonna go over foundation. Okay, like that. So the foundation I use is Revlon Color Stay and Caramel. Yeah, definitely I have to get a bigger memory card because my videos. Don't I can't make a long video on the stupid camera. I don't know why. And I just put that all over my face like that. I know it's sloppy, but it spreads out. And um, I use different brushes at different times. And I put a little bit too much on this brush at one time, but it's one day out. And I'm doing this really quick, like so quick. Oh, the camera, I have to get a better memory card. I need to upload this crap, guys. Now I gotta do my forehead. And when actually, when I do with this hairstyle, when I do my forehead, I don't concentrate on it as much because I have like the little bangs so that they hang down so I don't worry about that too much. And then I take a stippling brush, this is from Coastal Sense, I'm pretty sure it's dirty, sorry y'all, and then just blend it out a little bit better. Ooh, I messed my brow. Hold on. And this is not even a good cover that like, I would like, but Okay, I don't think I see it so far. So, my next step is this concealer, and it's MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NW40. It's a tad bit, just a tad bit lighter than my complexion. And I just take that a good bit and put it under my eye. I just take a good bit and put it all under my cheekbone, my eye. It all come together in the end. I know it looks messy now, but it will come together. the marks on my skin. Mm. I need to drink some water. Let's give a pad at times like in the morning. Psh, I should be 
You could pat it, but I like to, it depends how it goes on. I don't know. Look up and just get under my eye good. Make sure you don't have any black. And I do, I always put the concealer on under my eye like this before I put on any liner because it will make a mess. At least for me it does. And just blend it out and up like that. So I'm just checking this. Okay. And then I put powders. And the pow first powder I use, I use it. I use the first powder with my 109 brush, and that powder is this CoverGirl powder, and I know it's really light, but it's light for a reason for my highlight, so I'm going to do that. So, I'm just going to take it, 109 like this, and just, and just pat it up again. And I know it's going to be really white, but it comes together in the end, so I don't know if you can even tell that it's light like that on the camera. I'm doing I don't really well I do try to keep it neat but I swirl it and this was like I don't know how much this color this little powder was honestly I bought it a long time ago but it's not expensive of course it's covered though and I just put place it on top of the concealer well the concealer put the lighter concealer I put it so when I put my other powders and everything they all blend together nicely what I, this is like a foundation. I mean, I wouldn't call it as natural as I can do it, but when I want to look really, really natural and really look like I'm not really wearing makeup, I just put the concealer on in my foundation. I don't put powder over the concealer part. I put powder over the foundation part. So now I'm going to take this brush. I'm taking my um, e.l.f. Yeah, e.l.f. I forgot what kind of brush it's called. I forgot what they call it, but it's by e.l.f. Oh, complexion brush. Sorry, so it's on the handle. And I'm just gonna take it, we're gonna like this and put that on. Right. Now on top of the part of powder white, of course, but you know, y'all not stupid. And I just now I always realize when I do my makeup in the bathroom. I don't like how it comes out in the bathroom, but when I get like to another mirror, it looks better to me. And I think that's because the lights in here, how they are, I really just don't like how it makes me make it look. But when I do it in my bedroom, I think it looks okay, but when I get out into sunlight or I get out into it in here, it looks crazy. Like, I don't know, man. It's still way it for it. Okay. Okay. Combine the two colors, the light and the darker, together. I like to take a bronzer. And the bronzer I'm going to use is from Believe It or Not and And I'm just going to, I use my one on one brush and just do this. Make a fish face. And to me, bronzer makes a difference. It does. And sometimes what I do is put my eyeliner on and my lipstick and wear my makeup like this. Nice and really calm my, my mascara, all that stuff. And once you put a um, blush and everything, it really comes together and it really looks nice. So this is basically what I do for my foundation. I mean, everybody does do my foundation differently, so... Well, this is how I do mine. I'm basically done, I guess you can say. Let me get a little closer. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. But if you guys... Oh, you can't really see it too well. Yeah. But if you guys really... If you guys stay tuned to my next video, you can see the rest of the look put together. So I'm going to cut this off now, then do another look and make it look really nice. So check me out.